it's Titan here. I'm bringing you another Gmod build tutorial. I'm going to be covering the color tool and the material tool in this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna start with the material tool. The material tool is something that is gonna be pretty useful while you're building in our server. It'll help make your bases more secure, more flush, and just whatever you need in case you have to use multiple materials. You can use the color tool to match, or the color world, the material tool to match it up. I personally prefer the material tool over the color tool, it's much more helpful. But as you can see, whenever you go down to your material tool under render, it should be dead center, but that could just be for me. You have a whole list of materials to use. Most of these up through here, up until you get to the brick model, are going to be see through to some degree. I personally do not like using those. It completely defeats the purpose of having a solid prop. But what you can always do is go from any of these from brick model down to the little hunter my plastic plate. Mylar plastic is probably what that stands for, but alright. All you gotta do is use your material tool. Well, that's gonna stay the same for that one. Let's use a more random color, such as these stripes. It instantly changes whatever it is you're working with to that material to help you have a more flush and aligned base. This one I'll save for last because there's a special feature that can be utilized. For the fences, it's not very helpful, but if you're going to have an outside gate of fences, then uh, having it material tooled can help you stay hidden from raiders or anything along that line. It's just there to conceal you. But now with this one, whenever you uh, use the material tool on it, as you can see, you can't see through on this side. But whenever you go around, you can see directly through it, giving you a tactical advantage over raiders, muggers, whatever it is you need to be protected from in that case. But, yeah, that pretty much covers the base. Oh, wait, no. All you gotta do Not for to use, change yeah, the material back is right-click it. And as you can see, it reverts it back to its original state. That should cover everything with the material tool. It's a fairly simple tool to use. It's not very difficult to use at all. But it's really helpful. Alright, the next tool I'll cover is the color tool. The color tool, it's pretty simple all around, but it's got some uh, different features to it that can make it a little bit more complicated. Alright, with the color tool, to change the color, you just go over to the tool, and then you have plenty of presets down through here. You can customize your own color, whatever you need to make it flush with your base. In this case, I picked red, and as you can see, it changed the color of that white plastic to red. So in case you had a gun shop that's main primary color was red, you can change all the materials in your base to your likings to make it look more professional, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, now in some of these more complicated, well, they're not really complicated, just different things. The render FX's. Uh, let's use Flicker Fast. As you can see, that I don't know what you'd really want to use this for. It doesn't really have a practical purpose, but you can play around with it. And uh, set it to whatever you like for it, like... Let's say if you were a DJ on this server and you wanted to make like a club or something along that line, then you could use that and make a dance floor, whatever it is you need for it to be exactly. But the color tool, uh, it's fairly useful. I've never really played around with the render modes. I've never really seen it do anything. I don't think it has an effect on the server, honestly, but I could be wrong, but I might. I don't know. It just kind of depends. I could be wrong, I could be right. But that pretty much covers it for the material tool and the color tool. I hope this guy's I hope this helped you out guys. And as always, like, rate, subscribe.